there's something I really want to talk to you about, okay? Uh, Because it's really disturbing to me, and it should be really disturbing to you. It's something we don't talk about a lot. It's the number of children in this country who live in poverty. The National Center for Children in Poverty is a project of Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health. And the National Center for Children in Poverty publishes a report every year on the state of children uh, in poverty in this country. The new report came out, and there are some things you really need to know. First of all, the there are now 72 million children under the age of 18 years in the United States, 72 million children. Of those, 44 percent, that's 31.4 million children, live in low-income families. 21 percent of them live in poor families. Now, what does that mean on a human level? A poor, a low-income family is defined as a family that is at or under 200 percent of the federal poverty wage. Now, what that means in real terms is that families with incomes at or below this level have trouble making or paying, uh, making ends meet and paying their basic bills. Now, that may vary greatly from location to location, but by and large, what we're being told by this report is that nearly half of the children in this country live in households that are struggling to make ends meet, and more than one child in five lives in poverty. I'll say that again. More than one child in five in the United States lives in poverty. We are in the midst of an election. We are in the midst of a Democratic primary. Granted, Republicans make a fetish out of not caring about the plights of the children. They love to talk about being the party of the family, putting families first, loving kids, uh, uh, all of those types of things, uh, even right to life. It's all hypocrisy because they don't care about the right to life. They don't care if a children dies of, a, of a malnutrition or illness around the world. They don't care if children die uh, from the uh, what you might call the outcomes of poverty here in the United States. These are not really uh, things that matter to them. In fact, they make a great fetish out of blaming poor people for their own situation. Well, how do you blame tens of millions of children for being born into poor families? How do you even do that in your own mind? Even on the Democratic side, I will say, we haven't heard enough about fighting poverty in this country. One child in five poor, nearly one child in in out of every two, nearly half of all of our children living in families that struggle. Now, why do we care? We care because we are supposed to be a human, humane society. We also should care because the number of children living in this rate of poverty is on the rise. That's right. The number of children living in poverty in every age group below 18 years, and they break it out by everything from three and about three and under on up. Poverty is on the rise for American children, and we don't seem to be caring that much about it. Even those of us who call ourselves progressive, even those of us who call ourselves people of the left, well, you know what? It's time we started caring. It's time we developed the country we're meant to be by ending child poverty.